Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona. Welcome back to Sensi Saturday. I hope everybody is well and safe and healthy. And today we're going to be talking about Amber Road. This was chosen by Brian D. Thank you, Brian. And I'm so glad uh, Brian brought it to my attention that the West Coasters, when I post at nine o'clock, it's too early for them. So I've uh, changed the time a little bit. So we have some more participation from the guy, the people on the West Coast, and which is Brian. So thank you so much. Okay. Amber Road was chosen. So uh, let's start with the description. There were several different descriptions. Because it's a bring back my bar, it was difficult to find an official Sensi description. There was a couple. One was not, I for sure was not a Sensi uh, description because it talked about some bedroom activity. But anyhow, we will go with this one, which is the most tame. And it says, open a box of treasure handpicked from exotic lands to discover glowing red cedar and resinous incense. So uh, I think we all know that I'm not a fan of amber. However, however, I am coming around to like it more. Certain blends uh, like Afri African mahogany from Scentsy, I really enjoyed. And there was something else from Scentsy that had amber in it, which I also enjoyed. And it was like, mm, do I like amber now? I don't know. So this one is definitely very... Um, very musky and uh i'm have you heard my just my analogies before about um what i've compared amber to in the past this one is more along those lines it's very heavy it's a very heavy amber scent this one i put just the amber in two i have four full-size warmers downstairs in two of them i put the straight up amber road in the other two, I put one cube of Amber Road and a quarter of, I have a brick. So like probably, I guess, the equivalent of one cube of Amber Road and one cube of sugar cookie. Just because I wanted to tame it down, give it some vanilla behind it to kind of blend it a little bit. So I'll, I can say this. The throw is eight and a half out of ten. It's a good performer. It's strong. For me and my scent taste, straight up amber by itself was a little too strong on the amber for me. I didn't care for it straight up. I didn't mind it mixed with the sugar cookie, the vanilla, the vanilla and amber. I didn't mind it. I actually kind of enjoyed it. So if you're all in amber, if you love amber scents, the rich, deep, musky, very musky scents, uh, and you know amber's in your wheelhouse, then I can say yes to this. Go ahead, pick it up. If it comes back, put it on your wish list, as I do. Have a wish list. Um, put it on your wish list and get it next time you're here. If you're kind of a middle of the road kind of amber person, um, it may be too strong for you. You could mix it with other things, as I did, and I did enjoy it that way. Uh, but for me, uh, as I said, I'm not all in, you know, strong amber scents. But mixed, it was fine. So uh, that's... That's about it. Like I said, if you're a strong amber lover, get it. If you're not, uh, you might want to pass it up or just plan on mixing it with something or, or try it anyway. Step out of your wheelhouse and you may like it, which is what happened with me with um, African Mahogany, with Rustic Lodge, with Pistachio Ice Cream. I did try some things that I didn't think I would like and I ended up liking them. So you just never know you know, what it's going to be. So let me just leave it at that. Okay, next week, the choices are going to be spiced berries, sun-kissed citrus, redwood and cedar, and lucky in love. So the first person to comment down below, that will be the wax I will melt and review next week. I also want to say, while well, before I forget about it, Thank you, thank you, thank you for your patience in getting your orders. I have orders out myself, which I'm patiently waiting for. Um, you know, the warehouses are not working at full capacity. I don't know about USPS, what their capacity is. So everything is running behind. So um, we're just going to be patient. And it's not the end of the world if we don't get our order in five days or 10 days, whatever. Um, I'm just kind of, I like I said, I have orders out there too that I'm just kind of patiently waiting for. So I really, really appreciate everybody's patience. We're all in this together. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you for that. So that is it for now. I will see you next Saturday and I hope everybody has a fabulous week. I will see you soon. Bye.